Hello, people of the internet. My name is Adam, and welcome back to Minecraft, and welcome back to 8-Bit SMP Season 2, which I have not put out a video for. I had intentions to do it a long time ago, but my original opening footage was cancelled out. Uh, um, my old PC I was filming on was had to go for a reset, and I lost everything, and so I, that, that just didn't happen, so... A lot has happened on the SMP when I wasn't recording. Um, I built, had a house here, then I built this massive castle. And we've also got a pretty nice spawn going on, which I'm excited to show you guys. But first things first, I want to show you guys what this hides right here. I mean, it says abandoned dungeon, do not enter, because it's supposed to be going along with the castle theme here. Which I think is a pretty awesome castle from the outside, if you ask me. Um, but the dungeon is... Oh, creeper. I don't want you ruining my day, creeper. Don't you go ruining my day. You're not allowed to no, no, where are you? There you are. You're not permitted to ruin my day. Get. Get out of here. Sorry, distracted. Uh, <laughs> but what I built this dungeon for, and by the way, I just carved this out of the side of the mountain. If you can't tell by the mismatched blocks, um, it's meant to look abandoned, so if it does, it's okay. Um... Down here leads to my mine, which I don't want to show you guys because it's kind of boring and, you know, drab and dry and that kind of thing. Oh, that's an interesting... Why is the slab... Th I don't know. Um, it's kind of drab and dreary and dry and... Also, a little bit boring. Um, but if you look in here... and Oh, I meant to close this. That one doesn't have anything in it. But we've got two beds here. We've got a bed right there and a bed right there. So if you find out if you can join up on the server, which I'll post the application link in the description below because we're still open, guys. We still want people to come in and join us. Um, if you um, don't want to stay in the nice apartments over there, um, you can always go ahead and stay in my dungeon. I mean, I can give you a chest. and It's small but comfortable. I just want to scare the Enderman. Oh, you went right there. Okay, let's go ahead and change that. Ooh. Scary sounds, scary sounds. Um. Come on. Yay. Did he drop an Ender Pearl? I don't think he dropped an Ender Pearl. I'll be sad if he didn't. Aw. Maybe he did. I just picked it up. I don't know. Um, but today's just basically going to be a preliminary episode to give you guys a quick walk around spawn. Um, first of all, we got the 8-bit community house right here, or community towers, um, which has apartments in it, which I still haven't cleared my stuff out of. <laughs> uh, um, which, as you can see, Jake's been working on this. If you guys remember Serious Agent um, from the original 8-bit SMP server, he's still around. He's been working on this. This is kind of his pride and joy. Mine is right here. I, I didn't sleep here. I just had a bunch of chests with a bunch of junk, which I promise I'll clear out soon enough. Um, and the apartments are basically all set up like this. There's a spider upstairs. Uh, we've got a, another one over here. This one kind of slightly better views. I mean, it's got a bed in it already. I think this might be Raging Echoes. It's got a view of my castle. And then, of course... Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Um. Yeah, that happened. Um. But, yeah. Uh, this is pretty much it for the community towers. Um. Jake, I'm going to close up the entrance to this so creepers can't walk in and scare me. Um, I've, I've got cobblestone on me. I'll, cl I'll close up the entrance for now with that. Oh, God. I didn't expect there to be creepers. Um, there. Jake, you got to get doors on that thing, man. I'm serious. Um, zombie. This is what I get for venturing out at night. Um, then we've got a post office, which is managed by me. Um, we haven't had any outboxes yet. Not many people are interested in having a post box. I think the prices may be a bit too high. But of course, I'd love to come in here because I've got a post office box I like to check every day. Um, and then we've got the spawn tower right here, which houses um, 
not only our enchantment station at, up top, I thought that Enchantress was a creeper, um, which houses not only our enchantment station all the way up to the top, which I'm going to be using after, off camera because I, I have a helmet here I need to enchant, um, and it has a spectacular views to spawn, including my castle. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. You can't see the full thing, but I'm really happy about that. Another creeper. I'm going to take care of this creeper thing once and for all. We have a creeper infestation. It's not safe, and it's certainly not sanitary. Um, I'm weird. Um, I can jump down. I got feather falling. Um, good, I'll use that later. Um, also have a potion shop over on this end, um, which is run by uh, Project Zero, which you guys will meet, will meet eventually. I've already seen him in some of my videos. Um, we also... And I'm really happy about this. I have a vending machine built and managed by me. The Pepe Cola vending machine. Um, unfortunately, it's out of stock at the moment. So, but just to demonstrate how it works, guys, um, we have a payment system here that'll only take iron ingots. You hear that? Yeah. It'll only take iron ingots and then it'll dispense what you've ordered in there. Um, so, if you're to throw in something else random, I've got it configured. If you're to throw in something else random, like a bone. So the bone doesn't go down, it's configured like that, um, and you won't get any of your items. So, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cool. It's actually a lot of redstone, a lot of redstone work, as you can see. I'm pretty proud of it. Oh, somebody else paid me. Yay! I got money. <laughs> really popular. Um, we got a lot of. Of course, there's uh, Project Zero's farm over there. This farm is actually pretty cool. Um. He built this when he first joined up on the server, back at the server's very beginnings. Um, he's got houses, a stable house and a stable, a barn, and a windmill. I like this windmill. This windmill is epic. Like, I don't know how far you can get up in it, um, and I'll show it off a little bit more later, but that windmill is absolutely, positively epic. And it's an open farm for everybody, so you can get, you know... Wheat and pumpkins and melons and sheep and yeah. <laughs> oh, and of course, if you want to, if you would like a faster way to get around spawn in the rest of your world, we have a horse stable or a horse. A little bit worse for wear, guys. No, 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 not another creeper, not another creeper, not another. No, 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 no. Okay, where's my bow? Where's my bow? Where's my bow? Bow, 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 bow. Get away! Get away! Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. What is with the creepers? We're on a plains biome, that's why. That explains it. Um, then, of course, we have a maze that Zero and I built together going through it. Well, I don't want to... Yeah, let's see if we can go through it. Um, I think we can. I've built the maze, so I should know my way around it a little bit better than everybody else. Um, or at least I helped build it. Zero did a lot of the work. Uh, I'm going to get lost. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Amazing Mazes! <laughs> eh, <laughs> it's not an amazing maze. Well, it's it's pretty amazing. I like it. Um, come on, where's the ex where's the exit? Ah, uh, I want out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I gotta go to the bathroom. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Where the... There we go. We're out. We're out, we're out, we're out. Yay! And of course in here, as you can see on the side of the villagers, I'll be used inside. We don't know what we're going to call this guy, uh, but we want to rescue him. So he's in there. Um, yeah, shut up. I know you're lonely. I tried to find you a girlfriend, but somebody wouldn't let me do it. Um, so yeah. The biggest thing I think I'm proud about on this server, guys is the fact that we have an excellent blaze farm. Yes. We have one in the nether. This is built by Project Zero. It's amazing. Oh, this is fishing hut right over there. I absolutely think it's wonderful. Um, and I I have to go down there for levels anyway, so let's go down in three, two, one. So the nether hub really isn't something to lo worth looking at at the moment. Uh, it's kind of ugly and everything. I That's a mob farm over there. That Zero's got to work on. Um, but what I'm really excited to show you guys about is the Blaze Farm, which again was built by Project Zero. 
It's <laughs> I like it. I really do. I mean, he spent a long time on this, and he had to configure and reconfigure, and um, it was so much effort on his part. Like, but now it's complete, and well, there they all are. Oh, I forgot what the blazes look like in this texture pack. And you know what? They're being a little bit loud at the moment, so let's go ahead and turn them down. Let's go ahead and turn that down, too. Music's off. Good. We don't like music. Um, so this is the Blaze Farm, which, as you can see, just to give you a quick demonstration, even though I need more, you stand here, you go AFK, the Blazes drop down, as they do, as you know, like that. that perfect timing, guys. Even per more perfect timing from you, as they drop down. Thanks, guys. Then you come down here, which is relatively simple. And once everybody drops down for the party, go ahead and hit this button, and they get hurt. They go ahead and they keep getting hurt, they get smacked, smacked, smacked. And then it's, it's go time because then you can just simply punch them, and they die. Oh, you're late to the party. It's okay. <laughs> the one last thing I want to show you guys is this awesome um, farm build. It's basically, Kurt is a new member. Um, he and Ivy kind of have a thing, so um, they live together on this. And they've got an awesome base right here. Like, if you take a look, they haven't been on to updated in a while, but hey, the roof's grown now. Cool. But if you take a look around here and you jump over... Oh, somebody left the door open. This is their base. I mean, it's kind of a little bit disorganized at the moment. <clears throat> um, but if you go ahead and take a look, you can see here they got a three-story farmhouse, which I thought was pretty cool. And they've got nice balconies on either side. Um, got to get a look out the window on this one. Yeah, they got nice balconies and everything. And we're going to go ahead and just go back downstairs and, yeah. I really like it. It's really awesome. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot they got a basement, too. Which I'm going to show off with a swimming pool. Da 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 No? Okay. Even more so to show you how busy they were the first few weeks of the server. The doors are open, guys. Yes. They mined out this entire room. I still don't know what they're going to do with it. Honestly, have no idea. But look at how much they've done. Just saying, guys, you two are insane. Everyone else pretty much has their bases around spawn. Of course, you saw mine up there, which I might build a base far away from spawn. I don't know. I want to use another hut this this time around because I didn't get to use it last time. Um, but everybody has their bases pretty much around spawn. I mean, we've got Project Zeros, and his base is cool. I'm going to show off his base too. Um, He's also got to take a chance right there, which I'm going to demonstrate quickly. Basically what happens is you put one iron ingot, you get a random item. So I'm going to put that in. We get a piece of gold out. Awesome. And this is the tower building by it with a whole bunch of different, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's been getting rich off this thing. Um, So we're going to go ahead and um, his base is pretty cool. That's Jake's castle over there, which I think is going to be his base. I'm not sure, but he hasn't finished it yet. Um, but Zero is a redstone genius. Um, all you have to do is put in where you want to go, and it takes you there. Well, regardless, guys, you didn't get really good to look, so... Go ahead, to turn the dot, see where to go, and it takes you there by minecart. So, just to demonstrate this point again... Just went to a storage area. And if we turn the dial to go to a smelting area... It takes us there. Instantly. Uh, I don't know how he did this. I honestly have no idea, but this is awesome. I like this. I, I just built a vending machine. He, he built redstone stuff everywhere and everything, so... And the last base I really want to show you for today, guys, um, comes in the form of a brand new member of the server. He commented in one of my old videos, and I did a Skyblocks episode with him not too long ago. I'm talking about the Gamer Trials. Yes. 
he's on the server now, guys. He hasn't done much of a filming, and that's not his base right there. That's an incomplete house built by Project Zero that he hasn't finished yet. Zero's... Zero, my... You've done so much with this um, server. It's great, and thank you so much, because the server wouldn't look half as good as, it, as now as if you hadn't been building and building and building, because basically the rest of us have kind of been on a hiatus so, of it. So, um, But this right here going up, this sort of grandioso entrance is the gamer trial. Inside his house, he's got a nice living room. He's got a one. I love this window in the back, by the way. Like, it's uh, it's a nice window. I really think it's adds fanciful touches to the place. He's got a two-story fireplace. He's got an outside jungle thingy, treehouse thing. Which, down here is his own personal enchanting room, because he's too good to use the community one. Oh. <laughs> Over here, you have his half of this. Uh, not his half, it's his house, um, it's his little attic area. He's got his bedroom in here, and his storage area. He's got a lot of storage stuff in everywhere, guys. I don't know what he's going to do with this upstairs part, but look at the glowstone on the floor. It's epic design. And yeah, he's also got another, I think, little storage area over here, smelting area thing, kind of thing. Yeah, his house is a lot more is a lot more done than mine. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I gotta get started on that. I'm probably gonna do that off camera. Um, it's just gonna change a bit every episode. Just give you a new tour of my house, a new tour around spawn, see what's happened. Um, last thing I want to show you guys after I kill the spider for a string. Thank you, and his eye, of course. Um, last thing I really want to show you guys is that building right up there. 8-Bit SMP Season 1 never had this, but I decided, and Zero and I worked on it together, decided in SMP Season 2 that it was necessary, that we wanted one. So, I present to you the 8-Bit SMP Courthouse. This is what it looks like empty, because we haven't finished this part yet. And this is what we've come up with for a design that's full. You've got places for the plaintiff and the defendant, then you've got a place for the judge. And I actually kind of like this. The jury will have to sit in the back row because this place wasn't built big enough to accommodate a jury place. But that's okay. It's a nice place. It's got nice beams and everything. And then, of course, you've got the jury room downstairs. We're still trying to work on a table for that, but we'll figure it out. Um, you've got the beams running across, which I think is cool. This one doesn't have any beams yet. It just has redstone work done by Project Zero with a light switch up in this area. So I've also hit that. All of a sudden the lights turn off, and hit that again, and they're on, so it's a pretty awesome design. And of course I couldn't show off at every other shop at Spawn unless I showed you off the costume store. This was built by Jake. Jake, this is popular around Halloween, I'm going to hand it to you. Um, let's see how much he made up. The costumes are, he must be rich by now. Um, I meant to go ahead and grab a costume, but I might still do that. Uh, police officer, astronaut, pumpkin, lumberjack. Huh. You know what? I might still do that. I don't know. Um, matter of fact, just to give him his business, let's do that. I know around Halloween he made quite a bit of profit off of that, so we have a diamond here. Huh. Which, of course, we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw into the chest there to make him rich. Um... Uh... I don't know which costume I want. I mean, let me just take a look here. Karate Master, Knight is gone, Ninja, Iron Man, the Hulk, Black Widow, Captain America. You know what I'm thinking, guys? Astronaut, Scientist. Huh. You know what? Let's go ahead for the pumpkin costume. This one's kind of speaking to me. Um, kind of toss out some of the junk stuff from my inventory first, but... No, I don't want you. But I'm kind of feeling the pumpkin costume right now. Yes, there's a pumpkin head. The leather tun... Lauren's leather tunic. The leather pants. And the leather boots. So let's go ahead and put it on and see how we look. 
<laughs> I forgot how weird it is looking. Yes, guys, we're looking pretty awesome. We look just like a pumpkin. That's awesome. And oh, my shirt matches as well. Oh, uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like this a lot. I really do. This is an awesome costume. I love it. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the brand new 8-bit SMP server. If you did and this is your first time around my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Join my net travelers today. And again, guys, thank you so much. I hope to be doing some more collabs on this server, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the server grow, guys. And also, I'm going to leave a link in the description if you guys want to join up on this server, if you happen to stumble across my video. If you want to join up on the server, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below to the application so you guys can join and become a part of the 8-Bit SMP community. Spots are limited, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think we're only planning on 15 to 16 people. So if you want to join this kooky, crazy server... This would be a good time to do that right away. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.